Let's listen to those sweet tunes as we add a custom music disc to Minecraft. All right, we find ourselves back in IntelliJ once more. And in this tutorial, we're going to be adding a custom music disc item to Minecraft. Now, this is a, well, fairly straightforward process, all things considered. We need, of course, a custom sound event once again. So highly recommend checking out the last tutorial where we added the sound events. And, well, we'll just duplicate this sound event right here. And we're going to call this the bar underscore brawl. And then, of course, same here, bar underscore brawl. And that is the, well, sound event registered. Now, of course, we still need to add this to the sounds.json file right here. But this is all straightforward. All of this is available to you, of course, in the description below GitHub repository and individual just as well. But you can see that the actual, well, declaration in the sounds.json is not that crazy. We have a sound once again with the name. So this is going to be the name of the file that we're going to add in just a moment. And then what's very important is that stream here is true because this is in this case a stream, because of course the you no know, actual sound, the actual music there is a stream. And we're going to just add this right here. Once again, making sure that this is an OGG file. And this is incredibly important that it is mono. So this has to be mono. Once again, of course, the name here has to match with this name. And then this name here has to match with this name. I personally like it when all of the names are just the same. So this name also matches this. It's not necessarily the case it doesn't have to be the case. But I just personally uh, favor this basically. And after this has been added, now we can add the actual item to it. And the item is also fairly straightforward. It's pretty much just a normal item. So let's just copy over the combo here. And this is going to be the bar underscore brawl underscore music underscore disc. There you go. And then the same here, bar underscore brawl underscore music underscore disc. And this is going to be a music disk item. And then what we're going to find is that, oh, what is this? The actual constructor once again has protected access. So therefore, we sadly need to make a custom item class once again. So we need, want to make a mod music disk item class. And this will extend the music disk item. We'll hover over this create constructor matching super, making sure that this protected is changed to public. And then we can close this class never to be basically looked at again. And then we can say the mod music disk item. And then here we need to add three different parameters. As you can see, the first one is the comparator output. And then this is going to be the sound. So mod sounds dot bar brawl. And then the rest here is actually going to be instead of max damage, we're going to do max count actually. So max count is going to be one. It's kind of important for, you know, the actual music discs because they usually don't stack. So they only stack to a one. So I highly recommend doing this as well. And then of course, we still need the translation. And there's actually a interesting thing for the translation for the file as well. And we're actually going to copy over two things. So you can see right here, we have the actual disk name. So this is the name of the item. And then we have this dot desk. So for description, and this is then displayed like below sort of as a inbuilt tooltip, so to speak. But once that is added, then we can also add the item model JSON file. So because of course, this still is a normal item. Basically, there you go. So we have this basically points to the texture right here. And then the texture you can also just copy over once again, of course, all of this is available to you in the description below as well. And there you go. And that is pretty much all that we need to do to add this well, music disc item. So I guess let's see if it works. All right, we find ourselves back in Minecraft. And as you can see, the Barbara music disc has been added to the game. So let's put it into the jukebox. And there it is playing. And once again, which is very important that the, because the OGG file is in mono, if I basically go back, it gets quieter and quieter until I can't hear it anymore. And if I go in again, then you can hear it getting louder again. So this is the thing that the OGG file has to be in mono. Otherwise, it will basically be heard in the entire world, no matter how far away you are. So highly recommend checking this out and making sure that it is in mono. Right, but that is pretty much how easy it can be to add the music disc to your game. And that is already it for this tutorial right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new. If you did, I would very much appreciate a like. And don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials just like this one. I also want to thank all of my lovely Patreon supporters for supporting me and this channel. It is very much appreciated. And special golden thanks go out to MC Arctic for actually supporting me with the gold block tier. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. Oh, so, yeah.